Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 14th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of relief to the upside and then kind of faded on the day, even despite the Fed intervention, there's still an awful lot of concern out there, and it looks like we have a lot of vulnerable, very vulnerable, um, regional banks um, as the stress of all of the um, financial situations are running into, uh, well, major problems here um, in the financials. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can get a little information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday, as you guys remember, I had talked about, in fact, uh, last Friday, I talked about if we failed this support area here in the chart, there's a good chance we would test this support area next. And, and by golly, that's where we ended up going yesterday, um, early on in the morning, and then we started to rally. But unfortunately, even with the Fed intervention, we're not seeing, uh, well, we didn't, we didn't get a whole lot of energy to just continue to rally. We kind of faltered and then toward the end of the day, pulled back a little bit. And as you can see this morning, we're trying to get a little bit of bullishness going again this morning, trying to pop up here. So perhaps we can finally get a little bit of a relief rally to the upside. We're, de we're definitely due a bit of a relief rally. Unfortunately, there's so many things coming at us today that you just don't know if we're going to be able to stay that way, even uh, by the time we reach uh, the morning open. So let's take a look here. As you can see, a rally back up to here would be a very normal event. Um, pushing back up into this area. As a matter of fact, I think it, if we can get some good economic data, then there's a chance it could move up there sharply and quickly. And then if we can break through there, maybe a test up into here to test the uh, downtrend area of the chart. But somewhere in here, guys, I would be watching pretty darn closely for that potential of failure and more selling coming into the market. You'll wanna watch that pretty closely as we approach. About the only way I think I can turn bullish on this market at this point is that we're gonna to have to break through up here, hold a higher low, and then I think I might be interested. Now, of course, we could always push up here and hold a higher low in here someplace and still make that occur, but Boy, we've got some work up here to do. And then when we look across over here, as you can see, as we rally up, we just have a massive area of price resistance there in the Dow to deal with. And with the uncertainties that we've got right now, that's going to be a pretty big challenge for the bulls to put push through. Now, if we look at our technicals here, you can see our technicals are going to create some more of that issue up here with our 50 starting to turn lower right in this area here. By the time we make it back up into this area here, I think we're going to have that challenge with these uh, moving averages pushing down, creating a little bit of a moving average squeeze to the downside as well. Extra resistance anyway in the chart. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY also deserving a bit of a relief rally back to the upside. As you can see, I had mentioned that if we failed this area right in here, that we would look for the next level of support down in here. And though we didn't quite make it there, um, we still have that potential that we could reach down into that area. Now this morning we're getting a bounce back up. So any relief rally, if you look right in here, we have some pretty good price resistance right through the chart right there. So if we can continue to relieve this pressure, let's look for a push back up into here. And what that's going to do is that's going to test this uh, break. We had this um, uh, bearish market 
condition that we broke back through with all that enthusiasm here earlier in the year. But unfortunately, now it's going to become a resistance again along with that price action. So as we push up, look at that Look at that area in there for a potential resistance um, in the chart. If we can push through there, well then you can see we've got some additional areas of price resistance up here to be thinking about. They move all the way over here that maybe we could push through up into here and then contact that downtrend for that next move uh, possibly to the downside. Our technicals, however, in the SPY are much better um, than they are in the Dow, but doggone it, um, they still are showing us a very strong level of technical resistance right in here as well. So let's keep a close eye on that. Let's remember that we've got some very likely issues here in front of us, and that is additional regional banks running into trouble. Then we're going to um, have the, the situation of a, a possible Fed default um, out there because we have uh, got we still have to raise the debt ceiling and there's still a fight going on about that we have the potential of a recession um, that is now starting to look like it could be a rather deep recession so we've got some uh, we've got some challenges ahead of us here in the market now let's take a look at our Nasdaq QQQ interestingly enough QQQ tried to act like well, they weren't worried about it at all yesterday, particularly there was a push in the to hold the big techs yesterday. So we have that potential here where QQQ could rally right back into this downtrend resistance. Let's keep a close eye on that. You might also want to notice here in the chart, if I roll that up right there, there's an extra layer of price resistance in there as well that we'll have to be paying attention to if we can push up into that area. It is kind of surprising to me with the technical problems that we're seeing um, in um, the banking institutions and things like that, that we're still willing to run into these big techs that I think are likely going to struggle heavily in the next earnings season. But keep a close eye on those. So watch that closely if we can press up into those resistance areas. If um, we look at our technicals here on our uh, QQQ, you can see this is our most bullish set of technicals and probably the reason we had a little bit more encouragement to hold in here on support. Our 50 is just now crossing up through the 200. We got a nice little technical level in here of support. But I think if we rally back here and we see the other indexes fail, then I again would look for, you know, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, likely in the QQQ. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM, well, a lot of the regional banks are in the IWM. And obviously we ran into quite a, a problem here uh, with those regional banks and you can see we've kind of broken that little upside trend It's kind of a flat trend, but little upside trend and obviously we broke this one substantially and um, Well, there's still more problems here to deal with um, with those regional banks Tested this price level in here as you can see we uh, broke down through this area of the chart um, so we came right down into this support area. Now as we rally back, let's look for these resistance areas in here, uh, possibly right in here. The bigger one is going to be above right in here. And um, we also have that complication where we broke this um, uh, bear trend to the upside. And now that also could serve as a resistance area in the chart. So you'll want to watch that carefully. I think a little bit more relief rally is probably due here on that IWM. But once that occurs, we're really going to have to think about this downtrend here in the chart and that possibility that we could contact that downtrend and move on lower. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX shooting up here on the day um, yesterday, but pulling back nicely at the end of the day, 
but certainly we have gone from a situation where we were showing virtually no fear in the market to sub substantial fear um, with these uh, bank failures and if you take a look right in here there is a, a little bit of a price support area not a super super strong one but if we were to pull back into there and hold um, then we could uh, bounce even higher but I think um, with a little bit of bullishness here in the market, a little bit of relief rally, let's watch this level of price support in here. If we were to pull back into that area, hold that area as some price support, then I think that might be the area that we could contact for additional uh, worries or risks in the market. Just watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is by far our best hope of a relief rally. We are oversold um, here in T2122. We buried this right down here toward that zero. But remember, if that contagion continues to spread um, in those regional banks, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to bounce. So kind of keep that in mind, but I think the, the odds are in our favor of a little bit of a relief rally. We seem to be getting a little bit of bullishness this morning, and um, it all depends on some of this economic data, whether or not we'll continue to bounce. Watch that carefully in here, but we certainly have opened up plenty of upside opportunity uh, for a relief back to the upside. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108, pretty ugly here, where we have sold off extremely hard we broke this little upside trend in here as you can see we've got a little bit of price support right in here that we could still hold on to if that banking contagion continues then remember uh, our lows were down in here we could certainly stretch down in here and I would be watchful even with the encouragement of a potential relief rally I would watch carefully for those um, big whipsaws that we've been seeing lately where you can run in and buy and then man just get whipped hard on the day so be kind of careful here and i would caution everyone not to over trade if we take a look at our t2107 uh same thing here where t2107 really broke down here quite a bit um, and of course with the regional banks being in, in the IWM small cap area here, you'll notice that yesterday we broke down through this price support area in the chart. Now, that also gives us, you know, that little bit of fingers crossed hope that we could get that relief rally and we'd look for next resistance levels as we push back up here in the market. But just be a little bit careful here with the small cap um, sector running into all that regional bank trouble um, uh, for a, uh, well, a super, super strong bounce could certainly come, but it's really going to take probably some additional Fed action. We're going to need some major change in economic data to um, um, encourage those bulls that um, that recession is not around the corner. If we take a look at our T2101, well, certainly our volume levels have come up here and we surged high um, um, in this T2101. Again, that reversal bringing in a lot more volume um, watch this closely here. Again, we may have stretched this a little bit too far, too fast on the momentum side. Look for a little relief maybe coming in the market soon. If we take a look at our um, uh, economic calendar, or excuse me, our earnings calendar here for today. Our earnings calendar, well, we, the thing I've been talking about here this morning, the economic data that we've got hanging around our head here. First thing this morning, uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, so an hour before the actual market opens, we're going to hear from uh, the CPI. Now, right now, there's a lot of hope and encouragement that CPI turned a little bit lower than our last reading, um, edged back just a little bit, but um, only by one-tenth of, um, of a percent is what they're expecting. So. We're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Um, if that number were to come in hot or uh, very sticky, not really moving down, that adds major complications here to the Fed 
and um, can continue to put that pressure on them to keep raising rates. So watch that CPI uh, this morning. And I wish that was um, going to be the worst of it, um, uh, but I think Wednesday is going to be equally difficult with PPI, that retail sales number in there, could be really interesting to be paying attention to um, with the, the threat of recession around the corner. Um, uh, our manufacturing has been pretty rough um, also in here. And of course, housing has been pretty rough. So we've got a lot on our plate on Wednesday to be thinking about. So keep an eye on that as well and think about that as you're planning forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now, our earnings, we continue to diminish in earnings and um, maybe some good news here. We don't have a major number of earnings here that could run us into some troubles today, but we do have some notables here to pay attention to. Just a few, we'll run through those real quick. First off, um, we've got uh, CAL that we'll be reporting today. You might wanna keep an eye on that. We've got gas, um, some retail in here. Obviously a little bit of trouble here in gas, pushing down as you can see, maybe breaking some support. Um, um, IHS would be on the list, a little telecom, uh, keep an eye on that. That's been pulling back a little lower highs come into that chart. Um, maybe a little bit of technical worry here on that one. Um, we've got um, Sentinel that we'll be reporting today. It looks like it's trying to push a little bit higher. Obviously been moving in an ugly, ugly downtrend. Um, broke this little upside trend here in the chart and you'll want to keep in mind there's quite a little bit of price resistance as that rallies back up. We're going to hear from Lennar. This one might be interesting here today. Um, keep a close eye on that. Lennar has been moving down in a little bit of a downtrend here. We've obviously broken that strong upside trend and we're going to run into some price resistance here um, as well. So watch that closely. Could be set up for a short. Um, we'll see how they report today um, in um, that news. And then we've got um, Stone Company here uh, would be the last potential notable here today. today. So watch that close. Now keep in mind, um, we will ramp up a little bit more here on Wednesday or Thursday in those earnings reports. Um, maybe a few more of the notables in there. We're, we're going to continue with a lot of retail, but um, just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Thank you for everyone everyone who um, shares these videos out on their social media feed. And then also um, just a huge shout out to those who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link. You'll find that just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at a few stocks that uh, might be of interest here that you might want to be paying attention to. Remember guys with the volatility of this market, we're going to have to be really careful, very picky about the trades we take and also keeping in mind that you know there is no recommendation here to do a lot of trading um, in the market you're going to have to do your own due diligence and make sure that every trade fits your risk tolerance let's take a look here um, i think amd um, did a pretty darn good job in here yesterday nice little hammer pattern um, on that candlestick and we might be catching a little bit of follow through in here so you can see this little upside trend slipped out from underneath this um, downtrend we're holding a pretty nice level of price support in the chart i think this might um, be setting up as a potential buy for the upside um, as long as you're not overly concerned about um, that tech sector um, you know um, picking up a little bit of the bearish contagion here but watch that closely um, also, um, I think NVIDIA 
is holding up pretty darn well. We saw a little bit of bullishness coming in there yesterday, trying to push through. If you notice, we're holding on to some price support, and we can see that possibility that that could start pushing on through here to the upside. I keep an eye on that in NVIDIA. Um, other tech stocks, you know, um, I think there's still just enough worry and concern and resistance above. I'd be a little bit careful on Microsoft, as you can see, pretty big resistance level in that chart. And we still have this unfortunate situation here where we could run into that downtrend here in the chart. But if you have... Um, well, I just think I would avoid this right into that price resistance right at the moment. But a um, little bit of problem there. I think Google um, had a nice little pop up yesterday as well. And you can see there is a little bit of a flat upside trend coming in here. A little bit of price support um, showing up in that chart, maybe coming along. So there may be that opportunity to carry this up um, just a bit, but you'll want to be keeping in mind pretty substantial resistance levels above in Google. Let's take a look at a few other areas um, here of the market. Boy, you got to admit, um, a big move in gold yesterday, absolutely tearing it up to the upside. Now, what I would do is be a little bit careful here because I think if the market becomes bullish today, if we do get a little relief, gold will ease and pull back. And you can see in the pre-market, we're already seeing a little bit of that. So I would look for a little rest or consolidation back here into support. And I think um, if I found a buy signal in here someplace, I might just be um, loading up some gold. Um, so keep an eye on GLD with the worries of the market. People looking to find a little bit of safety out there. And gold is certainly showing some strength. When we take a look um, right in here at the UUP, we see that dollar slipping pretty hard with our banks um, running into those issues. So breaking back below that support area in the chart might be trying to surge back out. Again, our bond yields are changing dramatically here. So um, if we rally back and find a resistance area in that chart and continue to see bond yields falling, that um, also pushes gold and silver higher. So watch um, UUP. You might want to be taking um, a, a good look at a this company here, um, CRWD. CRWD pulling back here into a price support. This is a nice little pattern. Notice our 50-day moving average. We broke that downtrend. We're rounding this back up to the upside. If we can hold this price support in here, I think there is a possibility CRWD can move. And one of the reasons I like a stock like this in a market that is this way is notice that it's not whipping all over the place. It's a bit more concise in its price action. So watch that carefully in here on CrowdStock Strike. You can see I've placed a price alert and if that pops through there, uh, could easily become a potential entry into a trade for me. So watch that one closely. Take a look at Roku. As you guys know, I've been talking about Roku, that potential that this could hold that price support in there and move on through. Unfortunately, what we've done is we've broken that resistance here in the chart. We've created a little bit of a downtrend issue here. But having said that, nice little recovery yesterday in that little hammer pattern on Roku. So keep an eye on that. If that can push through, push through that downtrend here, hold the higher low. Remember Roku was a, a major depositor over there in Silicon Valley Bank. They had a lot of money gone, but now they're gonna get backstopped by the Fed. So watch that closely. If that holds that higher low, then look for that opportunity higher here for Roku. Um, so there's a few stocks for you to look at today. I would be really careful not to overtrade because I think there's quite a potential here for volatility particularly around that CPI number here before the open. And then we could get that little bit of relief rally. But remember, as we continue to hear about these banks, we've even heard about Credit Suisse this morning with a, um, uh, you know, more weakness here in Credit Suisse dropping again today. So this is a uh, not a regional bank. This is a global big bank that's running into some major issues and 
tell you, if the contagion um, on the banking side slips into one of these major globals, um, that's going to be, uh, uh, well, it could get really ugly really fast across the, uh, all the way around the world. So watch that closely. So be careful not to overtrade. Try to keep yourself balanced in uh, the market and realizing that there could be a lot of volatility to contend with as we deal with all these issues. Everyone take care, have an awesome day. I wanna wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning.